Good morning guys, Jill here with North Texas Vegetable Gardening, canning recipes, a little bit of everything. I'm hearing that there quite possibly is some shortages in the grocery store. So uh, we've not had to go very often through all this mess, so I'm on my way to check it out. And I'm going to tell you what I'm seeing here in the uh, North Texas area. So the first thing I saw guys when I went in the grocery store is I head to the cleaning section because that's very important to us. And um, I was uh, surprised because two weeks ago when I went in, there was nothing, no cleaning at all. So I was able, and these are my surprises, to pick up uh, some Clorox bleach cleaner and uh, some Mr. Clean that we use to clean our floors. I was also surprised to see that they had the um, uh, disinfecting wipes. They did have a couple of Clorox uh, containers, but I went ahead and went with uh, Kroger's brand, and they had two left, so I picked those up. The next aisle I headed on over to was the toilet paper and paper towels. And you can see here that they are very well stocked with paper towels and toilet paper. So uh, I was happy to see that. I didn't need to get any because, uh, again, we're pretty well stocked. Through this whole pandemic, we have uh, been able to um, acquire our toilet paper and paper towels through Boxed.com. Next stop was on over to the dairy aisle. I can see that there's quite a big dent of uh, yogurts. And I suspect, guys, that that's probably because there's still a lot of homeschooling going on and uh, parents are getting healthy snacks for their kids. Next stop is the frozen food section. And this is the snack section. This is where the uh, Totino's and the little pizza rolls are and frozen pizzas. I had a pretty big dent in that. Um, again, this was early in the morning, so maybe they're gonna be able to restock. But I, I will tell you, I was there two weeks ago and I, I saw the same situation. Then on to the frozen french fries and the tater tots. That too is still looking a little slim. Um, two weeks ago, it was the same situation. So I don't know if they've been able to restock in between. But uh, again, I do suspect that uh, families are keeping their kids at home and they're trying to think of lunch ideas. Moving on to the frozen food section, I uh, saw that there was, or the frozen vegetable section, excuse me. There's quite a bit of uh, frozen vegetables left, but I do see that there's a, there's a dent, and um, I'm happy to see that. I'm happy to see that people are also buying the frozen veggies uh, for their nutritional value. On to the second part of the dairy section. We're seeing that uh, some of the grated cheeses are uh, took a, a pretty big hit two weeks ago again. It was fully stocked, so I'm seeing that uh, these are, are starting to take a hit. These things are good because you can either vacuum pack them and uh, freeze them or you can freeze them in the bags depending on the size of bag that you get. Um, of course, we uh, go ahead and buy the big bag and then we uh, vac pack them and freeze them for the size of, of our family meals. Coffee and tea section looks really good, guys. Um, plenty of creamer, plenty of coffees, uh, plenty of teas. No worries there. Baking section looked to be fine. Plenty of flour, sugars, and your baking mixes and your spices. It was fully stocked. Uh, no concern there. And now to the canning section. Um, there's still uh, some jars there for people. I was able to see that there were some canning jars. I did pick up a box of them. And um, also there was uh, plenty of pickling salt and uh, some of your spices that you're gonna use, your sure gel, um, stuff like that that you might want to use. And uh, the vinegars, they were um, a little slim, but there's still some left. I, I suspect that a lot of people are doing their canning our vegetable gardening is coming to an end here in North Texas, and uh, so their harvest, they're going to be canning them up, which is exactly what we all should be doing. Canned soups look to be very well stocked, no concern there. But I did see um, a surprise with the canned goods. Two weeks ago, this was fully stocked. Um, did not see any gaps in the shelves, and I certainly do now. And as I went through, um, it was uh, a little slim. It was uh, your basics, your corn, your, uh, your green beans. Um, I did pick up a, a couple of cans of yams. Um, there was some pinto beans. I did not find a lot of black eyed peas. There were some garbanzo beans. But uh, yeah, I was surprised to see this. Moving on to the canned meat section, it looks to be fine. Plenty of tuna, plenty of canned meat. I did not see any of, any of the canned hams that uh, I normally buy on ham. And I did want to tell you guys yesterday that I looked on Amazon for these and they had two cans for $38. And I'm gonna tell you that in, under normal circumstances, those are about $4.50 a can. So uh, there's a little bit of price gouging going on out there uh, for two of those Durkee canned hams, $38 on Amazon. Kroger did not have any of those on hand, but they did have plenty of tuna, plenty of canned chicken, uh, your salmons, stuff like that. Beans and rice looked fine, uh, plenty stocked. 
So uh, I go ahead and get a couple of bags of those. We have plenty and that we have vacuum packed. Um, I did pick up a couple of bags uh, two weeks ago. Got a very large bag of rice and a couple of bags of navy beans, which is one of my favorites. Produce section looks just fine, guys. Uh, plenty of produce. I didn't see any, any concerns here. Had potatoes, lemons, citrus, um, your berries, your lettuces, your cucumbers, bell peppers. Everything was uh, fully stocked. No concern with the produce section. Bottled water seemed to be fine. Of course, you know, there's some that were... Uh, couple of little vacant shelves, but uh, in general, there was plenty of bottled water. In fact, when I was checking out, they had a whole wall of bottled water, and it was uh, a whole case of water for $1.99, or the Kroger brand, three for $10, um, so that was good news. So as you can see, I was able to pick up a couple of things uh, that I've not been able to see anywhere for a while. I got the uh, disinfecting wipes, I got some uh, cough medicine, I got the sinus and cold, because uh, allergy season is coming up. Um, the cleaning. I was so happy to find the Clorox cleaner and the Mr. Clean. Um, and then I went and picked up just some things that uh, we needed generally. I didn't have to spend a whole lot on groceries because uh, we're pretty well set, but some of the things I focused on were condiments. Um, ketchup, coffee creamer, olives, green olives, black olives, canned mushrooms, crackers, some soups, and some other canned goods that these will go to our local uh, food bank. Be sure and try to look out for your local folks, people. I'm, I'm, I, I suspect that the fall and the winter is going to be pretty rough, so we need to try to keep these uh, food pantries stocked up. So in general, I'm happy with what I was able to get. Um, again, there were some uh, shortages I saw on canned goods that I did not see two weeks ago and uh, some of the frozen foods. So uh, if you have a chance, get on, get on out and get what you need. And uh, again, be sure and look out for your local food pantries. But anyway, uh, they're out there working on the high tunnel. I'm going to get out there and see what's going on. Take care. God bless. Have a wonderful weekend. God bless you all. And please hit that like and subscribe button. We have a lot more things going on that we want to share with you.